there, my name is Topaz1493, you can call me Topaz Top Topi, I don't really care. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and do a quick tutorial about how to do basics with Voxel Sniper and World Edit. Um, they're two very powerful terraforming tools, and I like to abuse the crap out of them. They're a lot of fun. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I've been teaching people here on the little server that I like to play on every now and then. A bunch of nice people. Um, you should go check it out when they open. I'll put IP add stuff in description, um, but I'm not going to bore you with that. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So, uh, ignoring my brushes, your main tool for world edit, though, is going to be using a wooden axe. A uh, wooden axe you use to set two positions. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you this with quartz blocks. So if I set that, it says position one, and it gives my coordinates, and then position two, and it gives my coordinates. And it doesn't matter what position it is, but it will select all of the blocks that are between the two points, including that. So I've got my second position set up a little bit to show you that. So I can do slash slash set, um, sets your most ba one of your most basic commands, and it will allow you to set any block. It takes uh, item IDs, which you can find that on Google, or I just type in the name of it, but sometimes it's a little bit picky on the syntax with that. Um, so I'm just going to use stone brick. Stone brick. 98 will also work. But it just sets a solid block of stone brick. Nothing to it. I'm going to do slash slash undo. That undoes your last command. You can also do, say if I set uh, set 98, that's stone brick, and then set 43, which is double stone slabs. Um, if I undo just the one, and it has that, I can do redo to redo it. And if I wanted to get rid of it completely, I could do undo 2, and that, undo, that undoes my last two commands that I did. Um, doesn't matter what number you use, it'll work. Uh, next command, nice little basic command, is a slash slash walls, and then whatever number you want to do. Um, so 98, when you stone brick again, as you can see, it makes a nice little box here for making generic buildings in five seconds. Please don't make generic buildings, it makes me sad. Um, undo that. And another one that I'll use, that I typically use for my selection, will be replace... Oh, a little bit of lag there. Um, that replaces the blocks, but it doesn't replace um, the quartz. So say I wanted to do replace quartz block with 98. It would just replace the quartz blocks. If I wanted to do replace 0, that's air, with 98, it leaves the quartz blocks so you can see, still see my little markers right there. Um, you can get all sorts of creative with that. Um, oh, there we go. Uh, another one I'll do is copy and paste. Copy and paste is a little bit more complicated. Um, copy and paste goes based off of your coordinates and your cardinal direction. Um, doesn't want to show me yet. But I am facing... Uh, west. Cardinal direction. I, I swear I went to elementary school. I'm good at this game. Um, can't even tell left from right either. Um... My personal problems aside, um, so if I copy it from here, this little block right here in front of the little smiley face, um, everywhere I do slash slash paste with that on my clipboard, works the same thing as essentially typing control C on your keyboard. Um, you see my little smiley face it was right in front of me as if I was standing on a block that was right here. Uh, I'm going to undo that. Now, say I wanted him to face a different direction and I didn't like him facing west. Uh, say I wanted him to face north. Well, you can rotate. Uh, rotate works on whatever thing you have copied on your clipboard, and it works in increments of 90 degrees, so 45 is going to confuse it. It's not going to know how to do diagonals. Um, maybe someday they'll add that in a future update. I kind of hope, but I can see it messing up a lot of things. You know, on second thought, it's probably better that they just don't mess with it. But you can do rotate 90, and negative 90 works as well. And if I paste it, as you can see, he now faces north. Um... Say I wanted them to be flipped, so I want, uh, I'll just use sponge, screw it. I wanted his, half of him to be sponge and half of him to be quartz, but I wanted it to be flipped the other way around when I did it. So I'm going to copy him again. This changes it, my, uh, my clipboard. And I can do flip, and it flips it along the axis that I'm facing. So by that I mean, because I'm facing this way, if this was a mirror, it would be flipping it to the other side of the mirror. Um, same thing goes if I'm facing north-south, that kind of stuff. 
So if I paste them again, it uh, doesn't really do anything because it's the wrong direction. Um, flip. I'll get it one of these times. Paste. There we go. And you can see that in comparison to the old one, he's got the little sponge on the other side of him. Oh, what other commands do I use? Um, flip also goes upside down. So, now he's upside down. Um, it does not flip the block you copy from. So if you're trying to line up Mr. Bottoms, the bottom of the smiley face, like if you're pasting from this block here, you're going to have to compromise with that because it still thinks that you're pasting it from here. Um... So that's copy, paste, flip, rotate, uh, set. That's most of the world edit commands that I use, um, at least the ones based off of the axe. The next set of them I use are the brush tools. The brush tools I use only really the disc and the ball. I think there's a couple other ones. Occasionally I'll use tree. Um, I actually prefer CS build for trees, but I don't always get that, so sometimes I improvise. Um, but it starts off slash slash brush. Um, that was whatever brush type you want, so sphere. Then your material, um, 98 since stone bricks are whipping boy today, and size. I'm going to do size 3. Um, size is the radius across, so the top part here is 3 across. Um, radius also means it's half of the diameter. Elementary school math kids, don't quit school. It's bad. Stay in school. I'm in college. Help. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 across is a radius of 3. Um, right now, the config files on the server only allow me to go up to 5, but there's practically no limit other than the fact that you're going to crash your server if you typically go anything above 25. If you have a tank for a computer, or if you hijacked a military satellite, you might be able to get up to 50, but good luck with that. Um, next one, brush, disk, uh, no, it doesn't use disk, that's voxel, getting ahead of myself, cylinder. Um, cylinder is a little bit different, so I'm going to do 98 again, that's my material, but I can set a radius vertical, or a height vertical, and a radius across. So, 5 and 2. So, 5 by 2. So, it's going to be two blocks tall, from the bottom where I clicked, and with a radius of 5. You can't do that with spheres, it only works with that. Um, there is brush ellipse, I don't really play with it very much, but it has the same syntax as cylinder. Oh, uh, let's just play with it here. Oh. It's not on this one. I think that's a uh, CS build plugin specifically. But yeah. Uh, CS build. A little bit of shameless advertising here for them because I love their plugin. Um, they, it, It's a plugin that works with World Edit and adds a bunch of other commands like uh, spike brush, uh, custom trees, um, different biome changing. It's it's better for terraforming. It helps world edit with terraforming because right now world edit's pretty much only well it can be used for terraforming. It's not as good as voxel, but it's best for just generic buildings. So those are the two brushes. Um, the tree brush only works on grass, but you can do all sorts of things. There's slash tree um, that just does normal little crappy oak trees, which nobody should ever use for anything ever except for survival, because they're bad. Um, I can do tree big. These are a little bit better. I like to customize mine, putting like little extra leaves on them, making them look more willowy and natural. Um, that's just me. That's because I don't like generic Minecraft trees. I think they're ugly. Um, I can do tree birch, um, tree sequoia by type like half. It doesn't say it doesn't like that. Tree B is unknown. Um, if you Google world edit, um, slash tree command, it'll come up with what, all the different types of trees, but I'll usually use tree big, um, spruce is confusing, it's actually sequoia, sequoia, that's, that's more what you're thinking of, it doesn't like spruce, because it's weird, um, there's also tree, you can do double slash with the tree, it's just a force of habit, jungle bush, and it makes a little jungle bush. These, um, I'll pair them at the base of a giant tree and kind of make it a look a little bit more natural. So that's that's the world edit part. 
Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to actually how I terraform things. Voxel has a lot of commands. I'll go through them as I use them because if I just sit and explain it out of context, it's really confusing to learn. When I first picked up Voxel Sniper, I kind of wanted to kill children. Not literally, killing children's bad, don't do that. But yeah, no, it is very unintuitive to first learn, and I feel bad for anybody, including myself, who has to learn it without any sort of tutorial. Which is why you're watching this video, because you're a cool person. So I'm going to do Brush Sphere. I'm, I start off with World Edit because it's got it's easier to load on the computer. It doesn't kill things. Uh, sand 5. I like to use sand when I'm terraforming because it's a gravity-affected block. It means I don't have the risk of there being air bubbles or air pockets kind of hiding behind my mountain that I want to make. So I'm going to start off, and I this is where I identify the height. Say I want it to be, I don't even know what height this is. Not to the moon, but a sizable mountain. Um, next, I kind of go and I fill in the sides. You know, here I'm kind of clicking pretty quickly. The server doesn't like that very much. I'm sorry, server. Please forgive me. That cactus just died. Um, I'll do... Yeah, there we go. This is going to be a really, really crappy fast mountain. I'll teleport and show you one that doesn't suck when this is all said and done. Uh, uh, this is how I crash servers. Okay, close enough. Um, we'll use a command to get it the rest of the way. Next, I'm actually going to switch to Voxel Sniper. Voxel Sniper has very interesting syntax. To actually get your brush working, you have to use like four or so different commands. Basic one is slash B. That's your brush size. So I'm going to set it to brush size 8. So it says my brush is set to 8. Now I want to set my brush type. This I'm actually going to use an er erosion brush for. There's two main erosion brushes that I use. BE Fill and BE Melt. Uh, I'm going to use Fill here. You can kind of see the syntax there in the corner. There's spaces between it because it's weird. And I just click, and it pulls it out. If you've ever used ZBrush or Mudbox or any sort of voxel editing 3D modeling software, it's pretty much that thrown into Minecraft, which, as a 3D modeling major, like me, nerdy, super nerdy, all kinds of nerdy, um, it, it is really nice. And that's a phone.